Hey, Jenny. You know, I've been thinking about our little arrangement there at home. What? What arrangement? What do you mean? What? The shower schedule. I specifically told you not to go in before me. It's like you're doing this just to annoy me. Then maybe you should have come home sooner. It's not my fault you're always out with your friends. I'm busy being a teenager, you know? Living life to the fullest. It's not all fun and games like you think. Well, I'm busy being a worker. Someone has to pay the bills around here since you're too busy living life. Yeah, a busy, low-class worker who never even went to college. It's like you've given up on having any real ambitions. I'm busy because I work at the so-called low-class company that happens to keep our family afloat. Ah, don't become defiant now. That's why mom and dad never loved you. They saw no potential for sure. They wouldn't even let you go to college. Uh-huh. Keep telling yourself that if it makes you feel better. But still, you should be grateful that they let you finish high school. It's more than you deserved, really. I guess so. I mean, it's not like I had much of a choice in the matter. Even though the only reason they did that was because they were too embarrassed. Imagine the gossip if you flunked out. They couldn't handle that shame. Yeah, because clearly appearances are all that matter to them or to you for that matter. Stop half-assing your reply. Don't you get depressed living like this? It's like you've accepted defeat. No, I have all the necessary things I need to survive. I don't need pity, especially not from you. That's because you haven't moved out. Mom and Dad don't want you here. Taking up space, breathing our air. Oh, really? Is that what they tell you to make you feel superior? Don't flatter yourself. You aren't needed in this house. We'd all be better off without you dragging us down. Well, that may be so. But until I can afford a place of my own, I'm not going anywhere. If you know that, then hurry up and move out. We're all waiting for the day you finally leave. Not until I save up some money. I'm not going to end up on the streets because of your impatience. Yeah, like you can do that with your job. It's a miracle they even pay you. Is that all? I'm going now. I've had enough of this conversation. Wait up. You never used to shower before me. If you need to use only cold water, someone who can't work a normal job like yourself shouldn't have the luxury to use warm water. There's enough to go around. It's not like I'm using up all the hot water in the world. I don't like being second-handed. It's beneath me, just like you. Fine, fine, I'll let you go first. Happy now? I won't go into the shower before you. You should know your place. As you should have done in the first place. Seriously, get out of that house? You should be worshiping us for letting you stay here. It's more than you deserve. Okay, whatever. Good night. I'm done with this conversation. Don't think I'll reply back with a good night. You don't deserve it. You already did. <laughs> Too late now. This doesn't count. It's stuff like that that makes everyone hate you. I heard about it. You got caught shoplifting. Yeah, I didn't do it. It's just another thing for you to hold over my head. But did you put it in your bag? That's what everyone's saying. You seem to know a lot. Spreading rumors now, are we? Mom told me she's worried sick about you. Huh? She's worried? That's a first. Oh, God. It's so hard living with a criminal and a family. You're making us all look bad. Like I said, I didn't do it. I'm not the person you're making me out to be. That denial got the cops calling mom out, didn't it? Poor mom. Having to deal with this mess. Someone framed me. I'm not the one at fault here. What's that? An excuse? Sounds like something a guilty person would say. It's the truth. I'm innocent and I'll prove it. Did they catch it on the security camera or something? That would clear things up. The angle wasn't right, so no, it wasn't taped. But that doesn't make me guilty. Then you're still the culprit, huh? You put it in your bag yourself. Stealing makeup from CVS? Like, seriously. <laughs> I said I didn't do it. Why won't you believe me? Mom and Dad were so pissed. They won't put up with a criminal in the house. Your days are numbered. You can say that all you want. I still didn't do it. That's for a fact. There's nothing you can do about it since nobody believes you. 
Maybe so, but the truth will come out eventually. I might just do that. Wait, really? Oh my god. I'm so happy right now. Get the hell out. Oh, and mom sent a tax on the family group chat. That actually exists? I had no idea. Yeah, we didn't include you because you aren't family. Sad much? <laughs> Not at all. I don't need a chat to know where I stand with you all. Oh, come on. The hell you are. Mom says she's kicking you out of their house. Is that so? Well, I'll be out of your hair soon enough. She wants you gone by the end of the week. I'm giving you a heads up. Okay, I'll get my things together. No need to tell me twice. Get out. Get out. Get the hell out of the house. We'll all breathe easier with you gone. I'll pack up my things and be gone. You'll have your precious space back. Finally, I can have peace without the dreariness you bring. I can't wait for the day. Get out as soon as you can. Right, I'll make my exit and start fresh. Maybe it's for the best. Hey, criminal. Have you finally left this place? I have been eagerly awaiting news of your passing. I've left that house far behind me, Holly. You won't even find a trace of my presence there anymore. Really? That's fantastic! It's nothing short of a miracle! I suppose you've managed to find some unsuspecting soul to take you in? Actually, I've moved in with Grandma. Her place is conveniently located near my new job, and she's been incredibly welcoming. What? Grandma's house? How could you impose on her like that? She's got enough on her plate without having to deal with your drama. She offered, insisting she didn't mind at all. I'm not planning to overstay my welcome, just long enough to save up for my own space. You should leave immediately. Consider the strain you're putting on her. The extra burden. It's not fair to Grandma. The atmosphere there is still far more pleasant than what I endured at home. Grandma's kindness is a balm after all the chaos. Enough with the act. Grandma's just too charitable. Taking in a criminal like you, she's too good-hearted for her own good. Speaking of criminal acts, you seem suspiciously informed. Something's not adding up. What are you implying? When I was falsely accused of shoplifting, I remember now. There was a kid lurking around me wearing a uniform eerily similar to yours. And what of it? Did you orchestrate that whole scenario? Was it you who set me up? I have no idea what you're talking about, Jenny. Your accusations are baseless. If that's what you claim. Hold on. Are you seriously accusing me of being the mastermind? How could you even think that of your own sister? Well, considering that baby's sister refuses to believe in my innocence, I'd say my suspicions are warranted. That's absurd. The fact remains, you were caught red-handed. There's no escaping the truth. It doesn't matter what I say, does it? You've made up your mind about me. But let's talk about your financial situation. You were evicted because you couldn't make ends meet. How do you plan to change that? Things are different now. I've got a plan, and I'm going to be just fine. What? Did you snag yourself a wealthy benefactor? As if anyone would be interested. With your luck? I highly doubt it. The likelihood of that is slim to none. Just as I thought. You've always been the more attractive one anyway. Is this conversation over? Yes. I've said all I needed to. I'm just overjoyed at the thought of living in peace from now on. I suppose we'll be seeing much less of each other. This is farewell then. Wishing you all the best in your future endeavors. What do you want, Holly? You've been hounding me since the crack of dawn. What the hell is going on, Jenny? Dad's been ranting about our finances all morning. Huh? What's that got to do with me? Don't play dumb with me. Dad told me we don't have any money left. Not a single dime. I don't understand how that's my problem. <laughs> Did you think I had some secret stash hidden away? We're broke, Jenny. Completely and utterly broke. And that concerns me how. Did you expect me to have extra change lying around in a drawer or something? No. There's nothing left in their bank accounts. You stole the money, didn't you? It's just like you to do something like that. How exactly would I do that? <laughs> you think I'm some master thief now? You stole the access card or something. It's the only explanation. I wouldn't do that. 
Why would I need to steal from my own family? Easy for you to say. You have a criminal offense in stealing. It's not a far stretch to think you'd do it again. You still remember that? I thought you'd forgotten all my supposed crimes by now. Of course I did. So did you? Did you take the money to spite us? I haven't got the slightest idea though. There might be more to the story than you know. What? What are you hiding? Um, I can tell you. But why are you the one complaining about being broke? Tell them to cut costs and be done with it. They expect me to get a job and put money into the house. Can you believe that? Why don't you do that then? You're eligible. It'll be a good experience for you. No way. I can't sacrifice my precious teenage years to labor. If I start working, I won't have time to hang out with my friends or go on dates with my boyfriend. What would my minions think of me? I have to stay at the top of the social pyramid. Your pride got the best of you, Holly. It's always been your downfall. I just can't work. If you know the reason why we have no money, spill it now. I would, but only on one condition. What? What could you possibly want? Do you really have nothing to do with my alleged shoplifting case? What the hell do you mean by that? Why bring that up now? Answer me. If you'll be honest with me, I'll consider telling you the truth about the money. Um, well, well, I did tell my boyfriend's friend to do it. I knew it. Why did you do that, Holly? Why go to such lengths? Because I wanted a reason to get you out of that goddamn house. I couldn't stand you being there anymore. You hated me that much? Enough to frame me? Yes. Still do. Now tell me about the money. Okay, then it'll be no use to you learning the truth. If you hate me that much, why should I help you? What the fuck? I confessed. So it's your turn. I said I'll consider it, dumbass. <laughs> you really thought I'd just spill everything after what you did? You tricked me? You made me confess for nothing? You only thought about yourself. And besides, can't you guess from the lavish life you had before? What do you mean by that? What does my life have to do with our financial crisis? Even if both mom and dad were working, they couldn't afford to give you monthly allowances that cost up to $200. Huh? I need money to keep myself presentable. That's why I get my allowances. Don't you wonder where the money came from? It certainly wasn't from mom and dad's salaries, of course. Are you really that thick? What are they saying? Didn't you think a little about the money? When you were working so hard to kick me out of the house? I thought the expenses that were spent on you would come to me naturally. Oh, you really are dumb, Holly. You never understood the value of money. What? Explain yourself. I told you about how I had a hard time saving up. So? What's your point? Don't you ever wonder why? It's because you didn't get a higher education and landed in a boring job that probably doesn't pay overtime. You really don't give a thought about me. I don't want to waste my thoughts on you. I don't work at a boring job, Holly. You have no idea. Huh? What on earth are you talking about? It's not a low-class company either. You don't even know what school I went to, do you? I go to an elite private school. I don't give a fuck what school you went to. You may not know this, but I went to a technical high school. So what? What's that got to do with anything? They have a guarantee for workers post-graduating. And as I was a straight-A student, if I say so myself, there were some good companies lining up that were happy to hire a tech high school graduate. So? No good company would hire you. I currently work for a big energy company, you know? <laughs> huh? The phone you're charging, the electricity in your room are all thanks to my workplace. What the? There are days when I'm on duty, so I can't come home. But even you would know which electricity company you're using from. <laughs> so you're an elite? I wouldn't call myself that. Everybody knows the name of the company, at least. But mom said your workplace got shabby a few years back when the company became a subsidiary. It's called unbundling. My team works upon utility poles. Or is it called out on emergency blackouts? They only took out the one team as a subsidiary. The what? In a nutshell, the retail business stayed and the electricity makers went independent. Passed on a national bill. So it's not a low class company? Not in my case. But what's that got to do with us being broke? Don't you get it? No, I don't. I've been putting money into that house all this time. Most of what I made, in fact. Huh? What? 
It wasn't even high at the time, but I put enough through mom's account so I wasn't able to save up for myself. Which means that the reason we don't have money anymore is... Because I stopped transferring the money. <laughs> the hell? Why did you stop? I moved out of the house. There's no reason for me to put money in it anymore. Yes, there is. What? <laughs> Don't be silly. Shut up. You could have continued sending them money. I already did all these years, and by the time I moved out, I thought mom and dad would have saved some. I don't want to stay a slave to them forever. <laughs> I can't believe this. That's why we're broke. Think so? I don't really care. How can this be? If they considered cutting your allowance and saving up, things might have been different. Teenagers need the money. I didn't. That geek put a roof over your head. Unlike you, I have a lot of things to do as a popular girl. I also was busy getting tech qualifications and certificates. And even with that, I worked part-time and put money into that house. Shut up! Why don't you get a job? For God's sake. <laughs> God, no! How about cutting expenses then? I can't do that. Well then, think that it's your parents that are wasting all the money? What? Of course, there's no question you're high maintenance. But maybe they do so as well. Oh no! Like, for example, how mom loves to buy designer handbags and how dad loves to gamble. This is all my imagination. <laughs> Are those true? Who knows? They both have normal jobs, so that should be able to sustain unless, you know... But if they're asking you to work, there must be a reason behind it. We don't know that. You can ask them yourself. There's no use wasting time in guessing games. Right. I'm going to ask them now. I can't believe this. It's like everything I thought I knew about our family is just crumbling before my eyes. How'd it go? Were you able to talk some sense into them, or did it all just fall on deaf ears? They've started fighting. It's not just small arguments anymore. It's full-blown shouting matches every night. So they did have skeletons hiding in the closet. I always suspected as much, but hearing it confirmed is another thing entirely. Ugh, this is awful. I feel like I'm trapped in a nightmare. And I can't wake up. Is it that bad? I mean, I knew things were tense, but I didn't realize it had escalated to this point. Hear this. This mom had been a sugar mama to some guy, and dad's been seeing a hooker. It's like they're both leading double lives. God, that is bad. <laughs> it's almost like something out of a twisted soap opera. They're starting to look like scum. I can't even look at them the same way anymore. Yeah, it might be hard for a girl your age. It's a lot to process, especially when it's your own parents. I really can't. I'm crying. Every time I think about it, I just break down. So, they were using my money for nefarious purposes. That's a betrayal I didn't see coming. Aren't you shocked? I mean, how could they do this to us? I've been working in a place filled with dudes. I've been living longer than you to experience those things. I don't know how mom got into the sugar business, but with dad, I kind of always known. It's shocking, but not surprising. It was the guy who came up to mom. He seemed so charming, and she just fell for it. Lame. <laughs> it's always the same story, just different characters. I don't want to be here anymore. They're shouting at each other, and it's like I don't even exist. Huh? You mean it's gotten that bad that you want to leave? Can I come over? I just need to get away from this toxic environment. Over where? You know I don't live there anymore, right? To grandma's house. It's the only place I can think of that might be safe. You could, but I'm not there anymore. I haven't been there for a while now. What? But I thought you were still staying with her. I managed to save up when I was staying there. I moved out a while ago. I needed my own space. Then she must be delighted to have me as a companion. I mean, she's always saying how quiet it is. No, Grandma's a strict person. She wouldn't have freeloaders, and she's got her own way of doing things. So in any case... I have to start working. It's the last thing I wanted. But I don't see any other option. Guess so. <laughs> Welcome to the real world, kiddo. I can't. Do something about it. You're my sister. You're supposed to help me. What can I do for you? <laughs> I've got my own life to sort out. 
Let me stay with you. Just until I figure things out. Did you already forget what you said earlier? You made it pretty clear you didn't want to do anything with me. Huh? I said that in the heat of the moment. I didn't mean it. You said you still hated me. That's not something you just say casually. I, well, yeah. But I can't be in the same house with them screaming at each other. But I don't want to work either. I'm not ready for that. Brat, you were the one that got me kicked out of that house. Even framed me for stealing. How much lower can you go? <laughs> You've got some nerve asking for my help now. That's because your existence was a pain in the ass. You were always the perfect one. And I was just there. Then don't expect moral support from that pain in the ass. <laughs> you made your bed, now lie in it. I can't deal with this. The weight of the world feels like it's crushing me. And I'm the one person trying to hold it all up. It's all your own fault. If you hadn't kicked me out, mom and dad wouldn't have fought and you'd have had all the money you could spend. Instead, you chose to be selfish and now look where that's gotten to us. Damn it. Why does everything I touch just crumble to dust? It's like I'm cursed or something. Give up and go get a job. Stop expecting the world to hand you everything on a silver platter. It's time to face reality and take some responsibility. No. No way. I can't just become another drone, slaving away day after day. That's not living. That's just existing. Denial won't get you anywhere. I'm not going to be sparing my time for you anymore. You need to learn how to stand on your own two feet. Wait. At least give me what's left over from your salary. I know it's not much, but it's better than nothing. There's nothing left over. <laughs> Leeching off of someone you hate? Really? You've gotten low. Haven't you had any pride left? Or did that vanish along with your common sense? That pride is why I can't work. I refuse to bow down and conform to a system that I don't believe in. Some pride? <laughs> More like stubbornness and laziness masquerading as principles. Shut up and give me the money. I'm not asking for much. Just enough to get by. Ha <laughs> ha, no. My slave days are over. I'm not your personal ATM, and it's high time you learned that. You bitch. After everything we've been through, this is how you repay me? Right back at you. I'm not getting involved any further. Work it out by your own. I've got my own life to live. Don't you feel sorry for your sister? After all, we're family. And family is supposed to look out for each other. <laughs> Why would I? She hates my guts. And besides, sympathy is for those who deserve it, not for those who squander every opportunity they get. My parents got divorced, and it felt like the family I knew was torn apart. The house that once echoed with laughter now felt silent and empty. In the end, my sister ended up at grandma's, seeking refuge in the only place that would have her, started working in an effort not to get kicked out. She took any job she could find, pouring her heart into every task to prove her worth. She couldn't make time for her friends or her boyfriend, and slowly, one by one, they drifted away. The bonds that once seemed unbreakable began to fray, leaving her isolated. So she's currently friendless and her social status went to the ground. The vibrant social life she once enjoyed became a distant memory, a stark contrast to her now solitary existence. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna make money for myself and myself only from now on. I've seen the pitfalls of relying on others and the pain of broken promises. I'll forge my own path, build my own empire and never look back. Money will become my companion, my comfort, my shield against the chaos of the world.